哋请嚟耳鼻喉科专科医生白威医生啦，同我哋讲解一下乜嘢系听觉神经瘤同埋中耳炎噶。如果咧大家有相关问题嘅话，都欢迎你打上嚟我哋嘅健康热线，热线电话一八七二三一一一八七二三一。Hi, this is Billy. What you just saw and heard is the sound of a simple FM crystal radio. I've been、uh, receiving a lot of feedback and questioned how it's possible to receive FM crystal radio. In the past, we can only receive medium wave or AM broadcasts in crystal radios. Is it possible? Is it real? Or are you faking it? So I plan to create a series of videos to show you from the simplest FM crystal radio to the most complex ones you can build without battery. To answer those queries, the first part I want to show you the working conditions or the prerequisites if you want to build and listen to an FM crystal radio. The conventional crystal radios allow us to receive radio stations at the broadcast range or the AM medium wave range, and it's not too complex to create one and not too hard to listen to one. As long as you've got the right circuit, right antenna, and right headset, but for FM crystal radio, it is much, much more difficult to be successful to capture some sound from the radio. Here are the working conditions for FM crystal radios. The first one is you must be within 15 kilometer from the radio transmission station of the FM radio station. If you are too far away, the signal, which is transmitted in straight line, will likely be blocked, absorbed, or reflected. So you won't be able to receive any strong enough FM signal to drive your crystal radio and the headphone. The other thing you need to be aware of is you better stand higher, the better, because most transmitter is at the hill. You better have.、Uh, A、similar line of sight to the transmitter. If you are standing on the ground, unless the signal is strong, most of that will get absorbed on the ground. And you should ensure there's no major line of sight blocking. Like you've got a big mountain between you and the transmitter, it's not possible to receive anything. The second point you need to have a good antenna. I have a. Folded dipole, also called a Yaji antenna,、uh, which you will find in some TV sets antenna. So it's、uh, the same style but much longer, much bigger.、Uh, I hang it vertically, like a vertical elongated C-shaped Yaji antenna that measures 1.7 meters from the top to the bottom. To make a portable FM crystal radio, you can also use two telescopic antenna. To make a dipole out of it, pull out the top antenna to 0.8 meter long, and pull out the bottom antenna to also 0.8 meter long, and connect each piece to the terminals of your crystal radio. That will form a very good dipole for FM crystal reception. Or you can replace the bottom half antenna with a loose thread that is hanging in the air, and just use the same length and thicker wire for the, the loose thread. That will also form a good dipole. The other interesting thing to note is that your headphones wire itself is also impacting your reception, your direction, how you hold that vertically, horizontally. How close, how far away from the receiver will also impact what station you are tuned to. The third one is about having a high quality factor radio circuit. That include the variable capacitor being used. Better use the air variable capacitor instead of the plastic ones. Although you can still receive something if you have good antenna out of a plastic variable capacitor. For coil, try to use thicker wires. I use two millimeter thick wires to wind a coil on top of some AAA battery, 
as a frame and then I remove the coil from the frame and just use it as an air coil. The most important thing is when you solder them together, don't use loose wires to hang them together. You must solder the coil directly onto the variable capacitor, capacitor's terminal to avoid any signal loss. And the soldering needs to be done perfectly. You need to result in a shiny surface after soldering. Otherwise, it may inject some some impurity, impurity that will increase the resistance and lower the Q. Also, the threads used to connect different parts of the circuit together between the detector and the LC resonance circuit should be kept as short as possible using thick wires instead of very thin wires. Otherwise, the stray capacitance in the circuit may deviate the tuning and you will not be able to tune to anything at all and also the resistance will cause signal loss when you choose some fixed capacitors you can try to find some surface mounted device capacitors with highest Q factor they come with Q factor of over 10,000 which is very important uh, though the regular ceramic a disk capacitor will also work, but up to a certain level. As the FM crystal radio's tuning range is very narrow, you need a bigger knob to help you fine tune to a station. Sometimes just less than a, de a degree angle change will make a perfect or noisy reception. Also, you need to keep the human body as far away from your radio as possible to avoid impacting the capacitance and the frequency of the radio. So you need a, a rubber or plastic sealed knobs as big as possible, as further away from the box as possible. It's also helpful to use reducer, which is a gear with ratio of 5 to 1 or 10 to 1, so you can even tune to the right station in finer turns. The other one is about the sensitivity of the detectors itself and whether it supports operating in a high frequency. Many of the detectors work at the lower medium wave brand less than 2 megahertz and if you bring it up to the FM radio's frequency which is close to 100 megahertz or 120 megahertz, uh, then they won't work because there's a lot of stray capacitance in the junction of the two terminals of the detector. So you need to find those detectors, the diodes that can uh, run in high frequency. So I've been using the 1SS series, 1SS106, 1SS86, and also 1SS198. Most recently I have tested HSMS 2850, which is proven to be the most sensitive detector. However, it comes with a very high impedance, so you need to do a lot of impedance matching to match with your headset. Then we have the headphone. So I find that the FM crystal radio deliver a very low output volume. So you need a very sensitive headphone. Um, the Crystal earbuds may or may not work depending on whether it has the proper impedance matching. It's better to use some high sensitive magnetic coil headphones, such as the headphones made out of the mouthpiece or the earpiece of this sound powered telephone handset. The most important one is the impedance matching. We are talking about impedance matching at both the antenna and how to match the impedance of the antenna to your LC circuit's coil and also the impedance matching about the output end, how you match your detector's output impedance with your headphone. So both need to be taken care of. At the input end, we need to make sure the right number of turns is used in the uh, fit from the antenna to your coil. Sometimes we add one turn 
as the antenna coil, sometimes two turns, depending on the impedance of your feeding antenna and the feeding line. In some cases, when our antenna is a balanced mode, like that of a folded dipole, the Yagi antenna, but our feeding line is a coaxial cable, that means unbalanced mode, we'll need to use a balance to do the conversion. Uh, at the output end, we can use impotence matching transformer, or we can find the right headphones that matches the impotence of the diode that you choose. So impotence of the diode can vary from 10K, if you have an I1SS106, or up to 40K, even 100K, if you have an HSMS2850. So it also changes depending on the frequency being tuned to. That's why having an impotence matching box that you can freely change the impotence of the input and the output for audio matching is very important. There are kits you can buy from eBay to make this impotence matching transformer. I'll leave a link there in my blog so you can reference that. And you can also support me by using that link. In the rest of the video, I want to give you a preview of all the available FM crystal radio circuit. Some are diodes, some are most FET. And in the next video, I'm going to start from the simplest one and walk you through video after video what are the different type of circuits and give you the testing demo. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like my video, share it with your friends. Click like, subscribe, and click the bell to inform you of my new videos as well. Thank you.